All right, what is up, guys? It is me, Wild Guy Nine, bringing you, bringing, bringing it back. It is HQRX here, and we are here to bring you guys a new tutorial on how to make custom transitions using Adobe After Effects with your COD Four clips, Common Arms clips, anything you guys prefer. So let's get it rocking. Let's open up Adobe After Effects here. Let's double click the bank's place to um, bring up uh, our files. Go look for it. And then I'm gonna bring in two clips, shift to select both of them. And I'm gonna bring in the first one, make it into this drop into this little make comp button. Let's search for a good point. I'm gonna probably transition it right around here. And let's add in a little bit more. And then let's bring in the other clip, drag this out, bring it right there. And then go down here to zoom in to your workspace and click on the first clip press Q on your keyboard to make a rectangular to make three rectangles doesn't matter what how big they are or you can make them where to go you can make them where to go or horizontal doesn't really matter it just uh, it depends on you so let's go to mass one and if these are not open if they look like this hit M one time and they should bring up all this so click on mass path keyframe it move a couple of frames around there and go to your normal edit to hold shift uh, no, no 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 I do not want to do that okay so hold shift and then just drag it and then same and then move back a couple of frames right in the middle I'll go to your middle layer your middle mass your middle rectangle and then keyframe that move past the first one around there and then get your and then just move the rectangle out of the way to the right whoa do not want to do that why is it doing that okay whoa not so good here. Oh, I guess like a nice path. Okay. All right, there we go. So, go back in the middle of here. Click on your mass three, the bottom one, and then move a couple of free keyframes. Uh, probably like around here, and then just hold shift and drag it out of the way. All right, now that we've got that uh, keyframing and nasty stuff work done. Uh, let's add some uh, depth to it. So select your first mass, hold shift, and select all the masses. All right, go to layer, layer styles, drop shadow, layer, layer styles, stroke. Let's uh, not look at stroke for right now. Let's um, go to, let's mess with the drop shadow uh, settings. Put the opacity to 80. Put the distance to around I put mine around 10 for this. Put my opacity down to 80 to 70. And pretty much you're done, but I would like to add some colors. So let's just go to layer, adjustment layer. Or you can just, a shortcut for it is Control Alt Y. And then go to Effect, Magic Bullet Looks. Oh wait, Magic Bullet Mojo. And then I'm gonna pick War. And pretty much control M and render it out and good luck have fun make some really nice stuff of this you can use it pretty much with anything you can make it look you can make it pretty much just be creative and do it like how it shows you or not or whatever just do something this is Wargon9 from HQ Arts and I am out see you guys next time peace